Hi, my name is Ganesh Subramaniam, Product Marketing at Cypress Semiconductor. Today I'm here to demonstrate a high-definition USB video class camera over SuperSpeed USB using FX3. As you might be aware, FX3 is the industry's first and only general-purpose SuperSpeed peripheral controller. Using FX3 and resources that are available for you to download off the web at cypress.com, I'm going to show you how to build and demonstrate a UVC camera. To build the UVC camera, I'm going to use the following kit. The kit consists of the FX3 DVK, the Aptina image sensor headboard, and an interconnect board. To obtain the FX3 DVK, please visit cypress.com. To get the Aptina image sensor headboard, contact Arrow Electronics or go to the website at arrow.com. To get the interconnect board, please send an email to fx3 at cypress.com. The kit is featured on our website at cypress.com at the following URL. This web page gives you details about the kit, the sensor that is used on the Aptina image sensor headboard, and also details on how to get this kit. Now let's examine the components that go into the firmware to make the UVC camera possible. The firmware components that make up the UVC camera are the GPIF descriptor and the UVC firmware. The GPIF descriptor is the header file that you would add to your SDK that enables the GPIF interface of FX3 to become the image sensor interface. To design the GPIF descriptor, you would start with the GPIF designer. You would first design the interface definition, which is shown here. For an image sensor, it looks like this. It has a clock, a line valid, a frame valid, and a data bus from the image sensor going to FX3, and a reset signal going from FX3 to the image sensor. After the interface is defined, you need to design the state machine that will enable the GPIF state machine to emulate the image sensor interface. I have the state machine already defined here. This state machine describes the image sensor interface for GPIF. For your reference, all of this is explained in the application note AN75779. This application note has the entire GPIF project and also the firmware project that I'm going to discuss subsequently. Now let's look at the firmware. The firmware project that I'm opening here is called the USB video class. This project, like I mentioned earlier, is also part of the application note AN75779. The file that you should be aware of is a file that's called sensor.c. In here is the image sensor specific initialization sequence. This would change from one sensor to another and is not included as part of the application note. You would need to add this piece of initialization sequence to this firmware to make this complete. Once you enter the initialization sequence in your firmware project, you would build your project. And once your project is complete, you would generate an image file like this one right here. Now, this would be the image file that you would download to your UVC camera kit to make it a UVC camera. Now I have the kit assembled and connected it to my SuperSpeed port on my laptop. Next, I'm going to download firmware from the USB control center, which is also available for download from cypress.com. I'm going to download the firmware that we built earlier in the previous step. With the firmware downloaded, the kit has now become a high definition USB video class camera over super speed USB. And now you can see that the camera is functional. Here is an example of two camera modules that were built using the flow that I just described. This gives you an idea of how small a camera module you can build using FX3 and an image sensor. I like to highlight the following resources once again that will help you build the UVC high definition camera over super speed USB using FX3. The application note AN75779 shown here the high definition camera kit that's shown here, and the FX3 SDK that includes the GPIF designer. 
You have just seen a demonstration of how to build a UVC high definition camera over super speed USB using FX3. For additional resources, always visit cypress.com and thank you for watching.